Barely right on time. Okay. Whew, let me catch my breath. Sorry, guys. Okay. My name's Alex Stein. I'm here today because we got to vaccinate our children. You know, we really don't have enough vaccines. Like, they're not mandatory, and that's the problem. We got to mandate these vaccines. So, I've figured a way where I think we can make it, I don't know, like, I guess more hip and uh, cool for, uh, my phone's not working. I'm trying to get, I want to, what I want to say is we got to vaccinate our kids. We have to vaccinate them fast and early, but of course my phone's not playing, but I had a song that I wanted to do. And of course it never works when, when you're trying to make it work, but I guess we'll just have to, we'll just have to freestyle it. But with the real Dr. Fauci, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Vaccinate your mom. Vaccinate your dad. Vaccinate the happy. Vaccinate the sad. Vaccinate your babies. Vaccinate them. Even if they got rabies. Vaccinate my life. Vaccinate my wife. Vaccinate your DNA. Vaccine created by the CIA. Vaccinate your body. Vaccinate me at the party. Vaccination freak. Vaccination freaking leak. I want the vaccine in my life. I want the vaccine for my wife. I want to vaccinate you all day long. Vaccinate you while I wear my thong. Vaccinate me. Vaccinate who? Vaccinate she. Vaccinate her. Vaccinate them. Vaccinate my friend. I want to vaccinate to the end. Vaccinate me pure L. I love you. What can I say? DNA. I love you. I got the pure L feeling pure. So clean. Got the lights off. Cause I'm calling Paul. Do you gotta clean the mic? You gotta vaccinate. You gonna get corona from Mona. Don't vaccinate. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. You gotta vaccinate in the Lone Star State. Vaccination is so great. Vaccinate me all day long. Vaccinate your dad and mom. Vaccinate my body. Vaccinate me at the party. I vaccine dream. I love the vaccine all day long. I want to vaccinate your mom. I want to stick it deep in your arm. Oh, my, where are you? I want to vaccinate you, but you can't hear my song. Vaccinate me in my thong. Vaccination, right or wrong. Dr. Fauci, give me that ouchie. I want it in my body. Vaccinate me to go to the party. Oh, Mara's back. Vaccinate me white or black. Vaccinate you. Vaccinate who? Vaccinate you all day long. Vaccinate your dad and mom. Vaccinate me in my thong. Vaccinate the mayor. I am a vaccination player. What can I say? Ya? I'm the real round say a prime time nine and nine on the ground all the time. I blow your mind. I spit the rhyme. I commit the crime. I'm always on time because I'm nine and nine. Alex that and I grind and shine and I blow your mind one more time. Vaccinate your mind. Vaccinate your body. Vaccinate your life. Leave your vaccination party. I love y'all. Peace. God bless. Follow my Instagram. Thank IG. You. Your time is up. Prime time Stein. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for allowing me this time to speak to you today, but unfortunately the subject that I have to speak about is very traumatic and personal to me. With the new abortion legislation brought forth by the Texas Supreme Court allowing the heartbeat bill and limiting abortions to six weeks is incredibly unconstitutional. Bill Gates' father, William Gates Sr., would be so disappointed in his son for letting this bill pass, considering Gates' family involvement in starting Planned Parenthood with Margaret Sanger. Currently, I'm in a situation where I have three different birthing people pregnant at the same time, and I would like for all of them to have abortions, but unfortunately with this new heartbeat bill, we are unable to get the usual abortions that we often get. I don't like to use any contraception whatsoever because it hinders my performance, so that's why I depend on abortions as a 100% effective form of birth control. <laughs> but now that the state is making it almost impossible for birthing people to even get an abortion, <laughs> I'm going to be forced to change my entire lifestyle. Roe versus Wade made it very clear that abortions are completely legal, and I wish Dallas would take a page out of New York's rule book and approve late-term abortion up to six hours after birth, because this would solve a lot of problems for expected parents that don't want to have the financial obligation of raising a child that they didn't plan for with money that they don't have. And although I'm perfectly capable of financially supporting a young child, and I know that I would get crazy amount of likes and comments on my TikTok and Instagram accounts from all the cool baby photos, and I could post them in Armani and Gucci baby gear, and it's very easy for me to find birthing people that want me to leave my seat inside them, but unfortunately, I don't have the time or the ability to change my vacations to Cabo San Lucas in Jamaica, because those are non-refundable flights. 
And I travel to many other international destinations on a regular basis because my social media influence on Instagram is similar to that of Dan Bilzerian or Chrissy Teigen's. But sadly, with multiple children, this could hinder my ability to travel, and I know this may sound a little selfish, but my doctor and psychiatrist both prescribed me an eat, pray, love lifestyle ever since my first ex-wife and her new fiancé died in a fire at our old lake house that she received in the divorce settlement. My two transgender children, my two transgender children from the divorce, Decca and Alex, who are both on puberty blockers, were just surrendered to child protective services until I can get my drunk driving problem behind me. Because I recently got to DWI outside of the Olive Garden on Technology Boulevard after the all you can eat pasta promotion they have. But, but regardless of all the Pino Grigio and Fettuccine Alfredo, I sit here in front of the mayor and city council begging that you use some of the budgetary funds to hire attorneys and file a lawsuit against Governor Abbott. Just like you're suing for the mass mandate laws that are currently in place by the governor. Please do something to reverse this unjust, unconstitutional abortion ban so that I can go back to raw dogging, birthing people that I meet outside of Arby's and drug rehabilitation centers. And if you're watching this online and you want to smoke Swisher Sweets later and chill with me, hit my Instagram, Primetime Stein, all one word, and my Twitter, Alex999. My picture is Greta Thunberg wearing a mask and my bio says, free the nipple. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Johnson. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Alexandria Stein, Mr. Stein, you addressed City Council on September 22, 2001. Therefore, you're not eligible to speak under our City Council rules of procedure. What are you, what? What are you talking about? What? Point of order, Mr. Mayor. Why can't I speak? What? What? Why can't I speak? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alexandria Stein. I'm a post-op trans woman. I'm sick and appalled to be at this ethics meeting to expose the council on their misgendering and racist behavior towards me last week in these very chambers. I was unjustly escorted out of this building by the same police force that killed Botham Jean while he was sitting in his living room eating ice cream. It's a sad day when the city council weaponizes the same Dallas police force that shoots innocent black people inside their home like Botham Jean. I had to deal with the darker, scarier version of Amanda Geiger that I thought was going to shoot me for being trans, just like you killed Botham Jean for being black. I shouldn't have been arrested and assaulted by the police just for trying to practice my civic duty in defending my rights as a 2LGBTQIA plus R community member. This is actually worse than if I was to call you the N-word, and I would never do that in front of the city council, even though I could because I recently had a 23andMe done, and I'm actually 33% South African. So that makes me an African American, which gives me the ability to say the N-word, but I don't, unless I'm joking with my friends behind closed doors. Then, I say it a lot, because as an American, African American, it's part of my culture to use the N-word, a lot of that, but what I was called is much worse than the N-word because Tupac would have never been okay with someone calling him a female, but he had the N-word tatted on his chest. So that answers the question of what is worse. The N-word are not using the correct pronoun and gender words correctly. And it's clear that people like Dave Chappelle use trans people for cheap laughs. Well, let me tell you something. The trans community is not here to be laughed at. Sadly, it's almost 2022, and instead of flying cars, we have outlawed abortion for birthing people like myself. I have an IUD, I have a uterus, I can get pregnant, and my body will never be property of the fascist state of Texas or Governor Abbott, unless he can hook me up with Hunter Biden, because he is hot. And let me tell you something, I wouldn't mind smoking some crack for the first boy of the United States, but thankfully I've been sober from crack for seven months now, just like Hunter Biden. And it's all by the grace of Nimrod, our satanic ruler who designed the Tower of Babel, which is in the Bible, Genesis chapter 11, verse 9. And if you flip it, that's 9-11. And we know that in lots of Muslim countries, they practice Sharia law. They like to throw gay and trans people off of roofs. And that's what it felt like when you had the cops toss me out of here. I felt like I was getting tossed off a roof in Kabul, Afghanistan, when I got a whiff of the Sharia trans law. And it was not pretty. So please take this message as a motivational challenge to fix the mistakes you have made and create a better future for trans children all across Dallas County. Just because you're depressed about the quality of your life choices doesn't mean you can just toss me off a roof your like I'm some homosexual up. pariah in Pakistan. This is Dallas, Texas, where the police force shoots you in your, your living room for being up. a black man and kicks you out of city council for being trans. Thank you, guys. And uh, Billy Ray, please Thank don't you. call me a male Thank ever again. You. I'm a lady. Thank you.